right guys I'm back I'm back all right so my last video where I announced the sourdough uh, starter series I left um, a, a small little list I guess you would call it in the description box but I just wanted to make a quick video because a lot of you wanted to know what you need to make the sourdough starter so I'm gonna show you what I use you can improvise you can switch it up however you want um, but I'm just going to share with you what I use, okay? So my starter, let me get it, because honestly I've been keeping it in my Excalibur dehydrator. Um, I just turn on the dehydrator, I warm it up a little, I shut it off, I put my sourdough starter in there overnight with the door closed, and it's like the perfect temp. Your sourdough starter lights around 80 degrees. Um, my girlfriend Nancy puts hers in the um, oven with the light on, and it does beautifully. Uh, depending on where you are, I, you know, I'm in northern Michigan, so it gets really cold here, so I keep it where I can kind of keep it dark and keep it keep it warm. So mine is in um, one of my Le Parfait jars. Um, this is about a half gallon jar. Um, you can definitely use uh, a half gallon mason jar. They're pretty close uh, to being the same. I like this because it's got a lid um, now some some people don't put anything they leave it open some people put a cheesecloth on top um, the what are the blogs I read it said a loose fit fitting glass jar is like perfect so that's what I've been doing and it's been working fine so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna lift you up here and I'm gonna show you inside of Walter <laughs> my starter so um, he's already been fed as you see he's twice as much and it'll give me um, a nice amount uh, I think I use around 320 it's either 320 or 360 uh, grams when I make bread and I just made two more loaves of bread today so this gives me enough starter uh, to feed tomorrow and it'll give me enough starter to make two loaves of bread so tonight now this is the loaf that I made this morning so there's the crumb on that beautiful um, the round one I did not crack into I'm gonna send that to work with Matt I'm probably gonna send him to work with these as well this is an everything bagel sourdough bread and the crumb on that I just cut off the end just so that uh, everybody could have a little taste test and then I also did a salted one I didn't have any kosher salt so I used pretzel salt so there's the crumb on that one again I just cut off the end but I used uh, pretzel salt and this one is incredible so um, those are the breads that I have made so far and I'm hoping the, the more I make them, the better I get. Um, but this is what you're gonna need. So you're gonna want either a half gallon jar or you can start off using a quart jar, depending on how much you wanna make. Um, that's up to you. So quart jar, half gallon jar. I would just put a loose covered um, canning lid on it. That's what I would do, um, but it's totally up to you. They do sell the Le, the, uh, Le Parfait jars on Amazon. They do have a quart one. I'm thinking about picking it up. It's, it's around $20. Um, so there's that. So you're gonna need that. You're also going to need a scale, okay? Now I got this one on Amazon. This one ran about $10. So you can get an inexpensive one. I think they sell them at Walmart as well. So just an inexpensive scale because we're gonna be weighing everything. And it wasn't until I started making sourdough that I realized that I should be weighing all my flour from now on. My flour, my liquid, everything I put in, I should be using grams and not just going by cups and teaspoons and tablespoons. So this might change the way I make uh, bread in the future. So um, I also am using dark rye. Now they suggest that rye flour is the easiest to get starter going so that's why I went with that I had dark rye on hand I we really love the flavor of rye bread here so um, if you don't have rye or you don't like rye you can use a uh, whole wheat um, it's just it, it's more nutritious and 
it makes starter a bit easier. But like I said, my girlfriend Allison used all-purpose flour and her starter is beautiful. So you can do it. Now I know you're so supposed to use distilled water and I know chlorine can kill your yeast. So keep that in mind if you're on city water. I'm on well water and I'm not using distilled water. Now my I do have a whole house filter. Um, but I'm using my well water. And as you see, my yeast is doing very well on my well. So um, I'm not using distilled water. So rye flour, and I also use bread flour. I, I'm kind of switching it back. I had a little bit of rye now, mainly, mostly bread, now that he's, uh, Walter's fully grown, but in the beginning I just used rye um, until he took off. So it's basically flour and water. Flour and water and you need a jar. I would suggest a glass jar because you want to be able to watch your starter grow as it feeds and then you want to watch the collapse. If you put it in a crock that you can't see through, you won't be able to see your starter and what it's doing. So I would suggest a glass jar. So a glass jar, some kind of like rye or wheat flour is best, but at least some flour, um, bread flour or all purpose. You're gonna need water. You're gonna need, of course, then measuring cups or some kind of uh, cup. I don't have it right now because it's in the dishwasher, but I use a jar scraper, but you're gonna need some kind of spatula because once you mix your flour and your water, you're gonna have to stir it. So something long to stir with. Um, and then you're gonna need a scale so that we can measure, it, so we can weigh. So a scale. And that's really it, guys. That's all you're gonna need. So. Um, I'm super excited. Thank you for all the feedback. Your comments have been awesome. I'm super excited to do this with you guys. Like I said, I'm no, no professional, so I'm just like you. We're just going to navigate it together. Um, and we're going to bake some bread. Yes, bread recipes are going to come. All different kinds of recipes using sourdough, including dehydrating sourdough starter, which I'm super excited about trying so um thank you guys i love you guys i love the feedback i appreciate you so much and um i will be seeing you saturday for the very first video of creating our sourdough starter together all right i'll see you saturday